Hey, good morning, YouTube. What I want to do today is go over my motorcycle. Uh, a couple of months ago, my brother and I painted it. I moved from Michigan to North Carolina, and before I left, my brother said, Hey, my going away present to you, let's paint your motorcycle. But with the move and bringing down the house stuff, making multiple trips to bring my car down, I have the 69 colors, and making another trip to bring my motorcycle down. It was a lot, and I just didn't make time to go back. So sometime in October, my daughter and I went back home to Michigan to visit everybody and also to paint my motorcycle with my brother. So what I have is a couple of clips, a couple of videos, and a few pictures of the process of the painting and how it looked. <clears throat> I had full intentions of making a video of the drive and everything, but I just didn't have time. So... As usual, like, comment, give me some suggestions because I'm not done with the bike yet. Let me know what you think. All right, let's start it. So this is the day that we pulled out our truck and bike loaded up and we are on the way to Michigan. So these are just some random photos I want to bring up. So this is my bike at the house that we used to live at in Michigan and that's my cutlass in the background. Uh, there's the bike at my uncle house in the garage when I first landed back in Michigan. This is a shop that I really like to go to in Michigan. They, they did my big board kit on the bike. And they have a big motorcycle thing in Flint, Michigan. Bikes on the bricks. And that's where I met in this last photo here. So it's just some random photos of the bike I want to bring up. Now before switching over to the Harley, I rode a Hayabusa. That's a picture of it there. And when I switched over to the Harley, I was like, man, this thing is too slow. So that's when I took it up to the shop and profile performance in canton michigan and they did the big board kit for me all right so let's transition over to the fun stuff as you can see i took my motorcycle apart on my trailer in my mother's driveway here's a few photos i have of it surprisingly i didn't take a lot maybe because it was getting cold outside and i was ready to get done after i took it apart I transitioned over to my uncle's house to his garage that way I can let it sit, you know, at his house as opposed to sitting outside my mom's house. This next clip is a clip I'm going to show when it was at the shop. Big Steve Design, good friend of mine. He has a motorcycle shop located in Romulus, Michigan. So this is a clip that had the full intentions of being on my YouTube video I was going to make of the whole process, but like I mentioned before, I just got a little busy, so check it out. What's up to, so I done took it to the spot for the bars. Uh, took it all apart. What you're gonna do is put some more bars on. Lift them up to about there. Hit them up the big steeds. So get my YouTube together and it'll be set. So another step in the bike going together. Got it all apart, got it together. We'll check you out. To be honest, it was pretty cool having the bike at Big Steve's. Also cool me having a relationship and a rapport with him because I got to stay there and watch him work, uh, get a little bit of hands-on with the bike and actually learn a few things for myself. As you can see, what I did, I at first I went with 12-inch bars and they were too high. I didn't like how it sit. So I ended up going with 10s and Within moments, I was able to take them back to the store. So it was good that I actually went in the store and bought them as opposed to order them online. That would have made the process even longer to return and wait on a return and exchange and all that stuff. All right, so here we go. We have some 10 inch bars installed on my Harley. Now let's move over to the paint and see how that go. See what you think about the paint job. So now I'm over my brother's house. The bike is all tore apart. I have the parts over here and he's laying down the primer. I have so many videos, or at least I thought I took more videos of me loading my truck up with the parts and driving them out here, but guess not. But as you can see, what he's doing now is laying the primer down on my front fan. Watch him work.
we actually had a pretty cool process going on. He put the primer down and everything. I lay it down on the floor, let it dry, give him another one to start on. So I'm not a painter. He paints, but hey, we made it do what it do. I was a laborer. This part is pretty cool to me. It gives you the ghost background. Since the bike is silver, I'm thinking about putting that ghost background in red to have the bike with a silver and red outlook. Now I have a few shots of my bike painted. This video, everything is all done, all painted. I just need to lay down some clear. And I brought the bike over to my uncle house to start the process of putting it back together. I don't know if you hear it in the background. I already like Loose Ends and they had an episode of the BMF series when they played Can't Stop the Rain. And that's how I felt about the bike because it was rained in. So. Alright, so this process started in Michigan and I continued it down in Charlotte, North Carolina when I got home. My wife, she had to return to work. I didn't get a chance to finish putting my bike together in Michigan, so I had to begin the process of putting it back together here in Charlotte. So as you see, my truck, we just got back home to Charlotte, and now I'm starting the process of putting the Harley back together. Pardon my messy garage. It got like that with the tools and getting everything working. I've been saying for a while this is going to be my last project. It was cool taking it apart and putting it back together. I did all the audio to the bike, but it gets a lot of it gets time consuming after a while. I I'm, I'm at the point where I just want to enjoy it, not take it apart, put it back together. So here's the conclusion. Here's the Harley. I'm gonna do another video, take it outside. <clears throat> excuse me, the way you can see how it looks right now too. All right, so here's the conclusion. Here's what the Harley's looking like. Got my silver. I have my 10 inch bars. Got my kit. Pretty cool. I took my lowers off of the bike. I was out riding one day and they like started creeping further and further and further off. I see it was like this and now I saw a gap. And I'm like, oh no. So I just ended up taking them off. And it worked pretty good. So now I have more power on my front speakers. And I'm just gonna put these six and a half inside my car. But there's my baby car. So came out pretty good. I like it. Totally different makeover for the bike. All right, so my bike is not new. So there are some things I need to do to conclude the build. Something I'm thinking about, which I'm not sure is adding some digital gauges. I don't know if it's worth the cost. If I don't, I just want to add new gauges. As you can see, it has like little small shattered things in them. Like this one cool, this one cool, but the glass is not cool. Uh, my speedometer no longer works. <laughs> so I bought a speed sensor. I'll do another video of me installing a speed sensor. And my gas gauge don't work. And I went to go buy a sending unit, but since my bike is carbureted, they don't even, I can't find a sending unit for it. The Harley dealership didn't have it. So what I do is I ride about, fill up every 100 to 120 miles to make sure I don't get stuck. And good thing about the carburetor bike, I have reserve, so. If I'm sputtering on the highway, turn that reserve on and see if I can make it to the next exit to fill it back up. Well, that's my Harley. Let me know what you think about it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you have any suggestions of what I should do to it next, let me know. Should I get the digital gauges or to save my bread and try and get a CBO? But this is what I'm working with. That's my boy. And next, I need to do something to this thing right here. It's in route. But as always, y'all take it easy. Happy Sunday to everybody. 
Be blessed. Don't stress.